Hi everyone, so I recently finished a fox costume I was making for Peyton for Halloween and so I wanted to show it on the video today and just talk a little bit about the process of making it, the pattern I used, and all of that stuff. So I decided to make Peyton the fox costume because I wanted her first Halloween for her to be a cuddly little animal and uh, I already had most of the fabric needed to make a fox costume so I chose a simplicity pattern that I purchased earlier this year and that is what I used to make her costume. The pattern went from a size half to four and when I measured Peyton she was a little bit smaller than the smallest size on the pattern but since I measured her about six weeks before Halloween I figured that would be okay. Um, I, and the pattern is intended to be a little bit baggy so I knew if it was a little bit too big it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, so I ended up going with the size half and um, since it was the smallest size, I didn't want to ruin all the larger sizes in case I wanted to reuse the pattern again someday. So I ended up tracing all of the pattern pieces out on tissue paper and then those are what I used to cut out the fabric pieces so that I didn't actually cut into the um, store-bought pattern. So I pretty much followed the pattern um, fairly closely. I did do the zipper a little differently. I prefer to do all my zippers a specific way like I've shown in my Totoro tutorial and also in just my how to install a zipper video. Um, that is how I prefer to do all my zippers. I feel like they come out straighter and neater looking. So I did change that and then I also uh, changed a little well I added a little bit of stitching um, for the seam allowances on like the cuffs on the wrists and the ankles I added extra stitching so that the seam allowances would stay in place um, so it would be a little more comfortable to wear because I know with small children sometimes things like seam allowances and stuff can be a bother and so I wanted it to be as comfortable as possible. The pattern was actually pretty easy to follow. I didn't really come across anything that confused me or anything like that. Um, so the pattern itself was a good process to work with. So the costume turned out really cute and I could tell as soon as I finished that it was going to be really baggy on Peyton. But I knew that from the start so I was okay with that. Um, the only thing in the pattern that I really was a huge fan of was how the tail was attached. I just felt like it, I don't know, it just seemed kind of odd, but I couldn't really think of a better way to do it, so I just followed the pattern on that. Uh, I had considered trying to make it removable so that Peyton could wear the costume while sitting like in her stroller or something and the tail would not be uncomfortable, but I couldn't come up with a good way to do it that would look good um, without a whole lot of planning and stuff. So I just went ahead and did it like the pattern. Um, she can walk a little bit. She can walk all the way around the living room if she's hanging on to stuff. So um, I know standing for her is no problem. So I just went ahead and did the tail as shown in the pattern. Oh, I also considered adding two tails so that she could be the character Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog because I love Sonic the Hedgehog, but um, I didn't know how it would turn out so I just went ahead and just did one so she was a fox. Now onto the part where I actually put the costume on Peyton. Oh man. Um, <laughs> I put it on her and it was ridiculous. Um, it was not just baggy, it was excessively baggy. And at first I thought, well maybe I measured her wrong or something and she was actually like way smaller than the pattern that I thought. Um, but I've actually heard from one of you guys who also have made the pattern and said you were making the next size up for a older child and it was also incredibly baggy. So I'm thinking that there may be a little flaw in the pattern where like the size four, it is like the perfect amount of bagginess and then every time they scaled it down, it just didn't scale down right. And so when you make the smaller sizes in the pattern, it just does not look right. So like it is extreme. So I think she'll actually be able to fit it next year when she is 
about a year and 10 months old. So yeah, unfortunately the costume is not going to work out for this year. Like I can handle a little bit oversized, but this was too extreme. She, like the pant legs kept coming down over her feet and the sleeves kept coming down over her hands and like she couldn't crawl because she was basically about to fall over because of the bagginess. And so unfortunately I made this really cute costume and it's not going to work out. Um, not for this year anyway. I think it will work out for next year. But um, so yeah, I, I hate that that happened. But so now we're having to come up with a whole new game plan for Halloween. And we have like three weeks to come up with something, but thankfully we've already um, come up with a new idea and we're actually going to be able to do a theme so me and Jeremiah can dress up as well. So more on that later, but yeah, so my thoughts on the pattern, which is actually the Simplicity 1351, I never actually said that. Um, my thoughts on the pattern is it's really cute, the instructions are good. But if you decide to make it, you might want to wait until your kid fits like the size three or four, um, which is like the size that you see on the pattern envelope, because I think then it will work out and be really cute. But any smaller than that, you may have problems with it being gigantic and not usable because it is so oversized. So that is my thoughts on the pattern. Um, I really do like the costume. It turned out really cute, but um, we'll just have to pack it away and save it for next time. So yeah, um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this when I do make patterns. I have a feeling I'll be making quite a few patterns as Peyton gets older if she's interested in dressing up and things like that. So if you like videos like this, kind of a pattern review, type thing, let me know. Definitely leave a comment down below. Thumbs up the video and don't forget to subscribe so that you see my future videos in your subscription box and I will see you all again soon with more videos, especially more videos on uh, what our Halloween plans end up being. So yeah, I will see you all again later. Bye!